Today, we have a bunch of confirmed information from Zippo, the leaker who has a very credible reputation for his leaks consistently coming true. He has made a new post titled, yes, there were Sonic Adventure remakes. And there's a ton of info and a lot of very specific details about not just a remake of Sonic Adventure, but a remake of Sonic Adventure 2 as well. This project was canceled in 2015, but I have a lot of good news to share about it being picked right back up. So this project first began in 2013 and has had a lot of ups and downs. Zippo writes, In 2013, Sega decided it was time to go back into the Sonic Adventure well. So instead of going to Sonic Team, they went to another one of their internal studios, that studio being Sega Shanghai. This studio has worked on the HD ports of Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 for Steam and all the other consoles, as well as the Dreamcast collection, which was released in 2011. And there's even more. They worked on Sonic Generations, Lost World, and Forces extensively. The project initially began as just a remake of Sonic Adventure 1 with visuals similar to Generations. But Sega was so impressed with what they had done so far that they had immediately greenlit a remake of Sonic Adventure 2 right after the development had just started. The game was going to be voiced by the modern voice cast, which at the time was Roger Craig Smith as Sonic. And there's a ton of other big details that change everything. But one thing I want to give Zippo credit for is that this leak is written way better than the previous one about the 30th anniversary game, which if you don't know about, I'll time card my video about it right here. Everything was going smoothly on the adventure remakes until they hit their first big down. It all hit when Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric came out and did so poorly that Sega had to lay off and restructure a lot of its divisions. Aww. And all faith in the idea of Sonic spin-offs was lost as a whole. A faith that has been since restored. All thanks to the tremendous success of Sonic Mania. Now this is where they had no choice but to cancel the game. Not only because Sega had to cut back its budget and lost faith in the spin-offs, but since they greenlit the Sonic Adventure 2 remake so early and they had been working on both simultaneously, it was going way over budget to produce both games. And they couldn't just do one game since the work was already done on the other one. So for the time being, they had to put the entire project on hold. However, that does not mean we have seen the end of this at all. Actually, very far from it. I know a lot of people are saying that, but there's a lot of different information that all points to them resuming production on these remakes as in the past couple years. Sega has a long history of reviving these projects, seemingly randomly, and they've done way weirder ones than this. Last year, Sega released an unfinished and canceled Golden Axe demo that a small handful of people just made in a few days. They made this to pitch a Golden Axe spin-off title that was ultimately rejected. I'm not going to go into it, but this is a crazy story, by the way. I might have to make a video on it one day. There is a lot of demand in recent times for adventure remakes that wasn't really there in 2015. With reports that Sonic Team has had a really bad transition into working from home, this would be the perfect time to pick up work on these as a secondary project. And Sega has officially stated that multiple Sonic games will release soon that were all initially intended for 2020. This very well could be one that was picked back up. There's been a lot of verified info in the community that Sonic Mania 2 is not in development or at least wasn't a year ago. So with there being multiple Sonic games dropping, this would be the only other possible game that could come out. Now, one of the most interesting aspects of this leak was the soundtrack for the games. If my voice sounds different, I lost it from being so loud today. Believe it or not, the Sonic Adventure music experience was initially made to promote the remix, all before Sonic Boom's failure forced them to put the entire project on hold. The music you're hearing right now was made for the remake. And holy hecking gosh, fuck, does it sound good. In fact, I'm just gonna play songs from that for the rest of the video. So there's a good chance we will see this game sometime soon, as we know we will be getting some big Sonic announcements at the 30th anniversary event, and with multiple games, no Mania 2, everyone working from home, a lot of the work already being done, and Sega having a history of doing this, 
I'm not saying 1000% certainly. As they often will switch up things last minute. But there is very good odds we will be seeing this show up at the event. This could be what relieves all the adventure fans so they're not disappointed in the next mainline Sonic game. Exactly like how Sonic Mania quenched the thirst fans had for the return of classic Sonic. Especially if they tweak mechanics to be more modern and fun, like the driving levels in Sonic Adventure 2. To see both of these games together remastered in a single package would be an immediate get from me. Sega is a smart company, and even though they've made mistakes in the past, all signs point to them learning from it and putting that into whatever humongous Sonic releases they have planned for 2021 and 2022. Zippo ends the leak with make sure to sub to the Sonic show to stay up to date on the fastest Sonic news, literally at the time of recording this. No one else has covered these leaks, and even when it releases, no one will have covered it as in-depth as me. So don't miss out by not subscribing. Also, why don't you join our Discord where we will be having a Sonic movie watch party at a thousand members, which we are only a hundred away from now. Lots of love, and he really does end the leak with everlasting peace.